It's the lo-fi vibe. Welcome back. I just want to say that this version of the song, awesome. I'm going to be honest with y'all because these are the thoughts coming in that almost crossed my legs. So I'm going to share it even though there's resistance. This song makes me think of a high school love, like a high school crush. Maybe it's like you're telling yourself, slow down. <laughs> First part out. You're like me. I need to like take my time and invest in this. I feel like someone is holding themselves back. Let's see. Okay. Seven of Pentacles, Five of Wands, The Magician and the Lovers. Yeah, someone is resisting the magic that is coming in with The Magician and the Lovers. Two cards of Gemini energy. Gemini, fall back. <laughs> fall back. Yeah, someone is absolutely like, I don't need to rush into this. This time I need to take it slow. But the magic is in you. Allowing this to come in and for you to sort of not be yourself, right? Because I feel like you're Whoever's listening, the way that you usually approach relationships may be like quick or in a vulnerable state, which may feel quick. Like you allow someone to, you just allow, like I don't know what to explain. Like you allow. And because you allow and it hasn't worked in the past, you think, all right, like this time I should spend more time vetting the person, getting to know them so that it doesn't end in this like arguments and battles between us. But really the magic is in being yourself. And you've always known that vulnerability and trusting others is God's work. So do not resist your nature to be loving and vulnerable and trusting because someone definitely is sort of having that battle within themselves, like sparring within their own mind about how they should be. The King of Wands, okay. You know, I almost did a reading for just Aries. I actually had that intention, but then I just started pulling cards, so I'm letting it flow. Perhaps, perhaps like, um, you know the world, there we go. You know that this person is it. You know it's a total new chapter. You know you do not have to treat this person. I'm hearing like the subjects from your past. Wow, like you, the other ones were lessons. You just had to study them. The King of Wands is a great father. And just by saying that, even if you don't want to have children, you don't want to be the king of wands for my males, this person nurtures, this person cares. There we go. So immediately, yes. Immediately, yes. But you're going to try to resist that. Because you're going to try to use the lessons from the past. You're going to try to treat this person like how you should have treated the subjects. Ooh. But this is not a subject in the empire. This is the ruler of the empire. It's not the humble and loyal subjects. Ooh. Maybe this person isn't humble either. And I mean that in a positive way. 
because they care, they don't try to humble you or something like that. More in this world card, Aquarius, energy on the table. Ooh, could be somebody from your past. And now that I say that, Rain, I said this person is not, like you don't treat them like the subject from your past. Like you've learned the lesson on perhaps not warring with the person. And now I'm hearing that song where it's like, um, I don't want to war with you. Like, I just want to love you. Wow. I love that. Or maybe this is someone from your past who you always be flit. And you're like, we need to just slow down this time. But no. The magic is in the allowance. The magic is in the allowance. I hope this person gives you an allowance. Perhaps this person does. That's what I mean about them caring. Perhaps they're going to care for you. They're going to nurture you in a financial way. I'm even talking to my men. Like some, maybe they invest in you or something like that. That was clarifying this yes energy. It could have to involve some sort of forgiveness or you acknowledging that you... That's what I mean by the King of Wands being a good father and nurturer. Perhaps you realize like, okay... In order for me to allow this, I have to take care of the child inside of this person. I have to nurture their wounded child. Ooh. Air energy on the table with the world, Aquarius energy, the lovers and the magician, both Gemini energy with the Ten of Pentacles. I saw a TikTok video that said to never date a Gemini and the, so many people should not be talking about astrology because they don't read good. And I know it's read well. I'm being facetious. They don't read good. How do you have a relationship without Gemini energy? It requires communication between one and oneself and those are two different beings. And once you mate with your own soul, you become an eligible soul mate. The vulnerability here is you mating with your own gentle and vulnerable soul. You do not have to war. Me no one war. <laughs> Me wanna love. What? Me no one war. I'm sorry. My ancestors are speaking through me. And when you give into this vulnerability, you finally get to build or work towards the legacy of a love that you want to see. The legacy of love that you want to operate within and create from. Let me get more of this. I don't want more of that. Let me take that back. Let me get more on this sort of sparring energy with the death card. Perfect. This has transformed. Honey, I'm not going to argue with you. What do you need? Do you need a weighted blanket? How can I be of service to you? I just want to say, like, I... When I'm doing readings, I'm, it's like I'm not sure if I'm choosing my words or what's happening, but this person loves through acts of service and for me, it's everything. So do not argue with yourself. Do not fight your loving nature. Do not resist being vulnerable. Turn off the noise in the background because, because you've made it with your soul and because you're allowing yourself to be yourself, your soulmate is now available to you. Clarifying the magician, the queen of wands, clarifying the lovers, the two of cups is lit. The bottom of the deck, five of cups. No more of this. This is lit. This is amazing. This is the old energy. 
And it's a death to that. Remember five of wands. Fives are numbers of change. They are also numbers of conflict. You hear the alarm randomly going off? That, the, that's the five energy. We off that. Uh, Scorpio is now on the table, so you have some sort of spiritual transformation. The Queen of Wands is clarifying the Magician, right? I want to show you. See the wand on the table? You see the Cup of Love, the Wand of Passion, the Pentacle showing that there's an investment there. And the sword is right here. So you're operating from clear mind. And then look at this queen with her black cat. The ancestors, the protectors of the underworld are allowing you, oh, this is about allowance. They're allowing you to creatively create and love now. I'm sorry. They're allowing you to creatively manifest through love now. Look what's clarifying the lovers. The two of cups. You have a reflection of you in front of you. The two energy. Let's talk about numbers. Let's talk about numbers, all right? In order to have one reflected in another, you have to have two. Look at the Roman numeral. Your soul has mated. Think of Avatar. Is that what I want to say? That's not what I want to say. But interesting that I would say Avatar. I wanted to say think of... Is it Avatar? What is that? Is it called Avatar? I'm about to look it up. The James Cameron movie? Is it called Avatar? It's not called Avatar. I'm looking up James. Uh, yeah, it is called Avatar. But you know what I started thinking of? I started thinking of Avatar, the animated show. Like, oh, okay, I know why. So think of Avatar. And then remember, the sequel was based in water. We're going to get there with the two cups right there. Now, in Avatar, they like made by using their tails, right? But what I pictured just now is like you and someone locks fuse. Perhaps like through embracing, through the hug. So maybe you're, this person is a love bender for you. Wow, I'm gonna stay there for a second. And you bend your rules for this person, thus allowing you to be vulnerable. You bend the rules for this person. They got you on your avatar vibe. You, you wanna fuse with this little tail? Oh, maybe you like even break your rules of like, maybe you end your celibacy with this person. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Oops, I fell in love. I don't know about you. Clarifying the world card, the yes, yes. See, there's that seven. Here's the seven. We have double fives, or they came out. That's a shuffled again. We have the five of wands, the five of cups. You don't want to be caught in despair because you're arguing with yourself. You think that you should just put a lot of time into this and move slowly. But your yes, right, clarifying the yes, you're trying to draw this line in the sand. Like, you know what? These are my rules, and these are the rules, and th but this is a love bender. You are now a love bender. When two love benders link up, you don't have to wait for anything. 
Fantasia said she was engaged in three weeks. We on that type of timing. Clarifying the seven of wands, you trying to draw a line in the sand, like nothing past here. The emperor, the emperor said, yeah, right. <laughs> Pull up. And you're like, skirt. Like you try to argue, but you're like, skirt, skirt. Like you can't even stop yourself. Aries energy, see? I meant to pull for Aries. Perhaps there's an Aries coming in or there's Martian energy coming in. I'm talking about a man. Define it the way you want to, right? We live in a wonderful world, the age of Aquarius. There's many definitions. You know what I mean. I'm talking about a man. Pulls up, like, get in the car. Ten of swords. Again, sun and Gemini. Interesting. I can see a couple of cards. Let's pull this one up. The strength card. Let's pull this one up. The ace of cups. Let's pull this one up. With the four of swords. Rest easy. Rest easy. I would love to tell you that you have the strength to relax. And many people can hear me when I say that. Strength is not just about lifting weights. I had to learn that through my physical body. You have the strength to relax. So relax. And this man is going to be like, shh, be quiet. <laughs> Tonight is the night that we ride. It's, what sign is juvenile? Shh, be quiet. Oh, I love that. Please tell me to stop talking. I just want to be quiet in general around men. But you can't around many men. But if, if I could be silent? What are we talking about? March 26th. If you know me, I love that Aries day. I got a God sister and a God brother born on that day. Both from God. Okay? And this Aries is like, shh, be quiet. And quiets your sparring in your own mind. 17.32 on the clock. 17.32. Isn't that a song? Like, hold on. Okay, I'm not going to keep looking at one of them. 17.32. 1 and 7, 8. And 3, 11. And 2, 13. And 3, 4. Emperor energy. You can build with this person. You can build with them because they have a whole empire already. That's how you build with someone. They already bring the empire. Again, they bring their mated soul to you. I love that. Clarifying the forgiveness. Let's talk some more about that because a lot of people... I feel leery about that, but I'm so sorry to remind you that all of the historical texts, every single one, encourage forgiveness. You can try to be a hard ASS all you want, a hard A double snakes. It's not about that. It's not about that. Do you want to repeat a life round because you didn't execute forgiveness? Don't waste your time. Clarifying the forgiveness card. I think that's what you need to hear. Like, it's a part of ethical decisions to forgive. And obviously, don't forgive someone who dragged you, okay? Obviously. Yeah. You're, you're, and you're like, I understand that forgiveness comes from something higher than me, but I'm here on earth. Should I do it? Should I not do it? Should I do it? Should I not do it? But look, this is not a comfortable flow. That's clarifying the forgiveness card. Like, you're aware that even if it puts you at risk, let's be honest, the purest choice is to forgive others. I, 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 you know, I hear people like, nah, I can hear it. Yes, though. But yes, though. Nah, but yes. That's how we say it in New York. But nah, but yes, though. Like, yes, but nah, but nah, but yes, though. 
And that's what someone's doing in their mind. Like, uh, ten of swords fell in between my feet. Sun and Gemini again. The overthinking is over. The anxiety is over. Clarifying the ten of pentacles. The happy life is on the way. It's about you being yourself and not being worried about being yourself. You can trust this big energy that's coming in. King of Swords, because it makes sense. Queen of Pentacles. Gemini, calm down. Um, this is also Aquarius energy with the King of Swords. And you can switch roles. Honestly, let's talk about it, though. It doesn't matter. This is for the males. This is for the females. This male... His reasoning skills through the roof. He sits above the clouds. He's not confused. And that is emperor status. Like, I know how to build a business already. I know how to have conversations with women who are about to be on their cycle and who are losing their minds. I already know how to do it. Shh. Be quiet. What you need? Oh my God, I'm like into it through the cards. I'm into the energy. And then the Queen of Pentacles, you give her your money. This is like an old school grandma or an old school aunt. If you give her the money, somehow she's going to make a delicious Sunday dinner and have money to give you. You're going to give her money. She's going to give it back to you. That's clarifying this uh, Ten of Pentacles. A reasonable man... And a woman that manages everything around her well, the materials, there we go. A reasonable man and a woman that manages the materials well. So she's not going to go buy a product. Get that out of here. That's not what she's going to do. She's going to buy collard greens and broccoli. <laughs> Twenty-two twelve on the clock. Seven. Seven energy is about spiritual growth. Listen, the spiritual journey. This is a love that was written. It was written. I love that. Clarifying the King of Wands. Whoever this nurturer is, they bring you so much joy. Leo energy on top of fire energy. They bring you so much joy. Maybe they bring you a baby. King of Pentacles. I think it's your responsibility, and I'd like to break down that word. So, response being the base word, ability. I think you are able to respond to this because of trial and error. King of Pentacles. This card is ruled by Taurus. It's also associated with Virgo and Capricorn, but you, Taurus is the first earth energy. It is about sensual experience and expression. No, it's not. It's about the sensual life cycles yeah because it's earthly so this seed right sensual life cycle a seed turns into food it becomes the center experience sensory experience after the life cycles this person like i said they already know how to run a business this person understands how to plant the seed boom For the Queen of Pentacles to then take the leaves that have grown, to pick the pumpkins that have grown, that were planted in spring. And then she can manage the materials while you think. Like, <laughs> the man does the thinking in this situation. While you're able to think about the next move. And that's what builds the empire. That's what builds it. 
a woman who manages her materials well and a man who manages his thoughts. And maybe, you know what? As I said, it could be a baby. Maybe the material, the seed, there we are again, is an actual baby. And this woman knows how to manage it. And that's what I mean by multiplying. Like, she actually takes your seed. She takes it and fertilizes the egg. You think that you're giving her the seed? She takes the seed, yes, that you gave her, but then she throws it on the egg. The sperm don't even have to swim fast. She's like, come on. Come, come in. Let me take the best seed. And then once that happens, the man is like, all right, well, let us plan to grow this amazing family on the land that I already have. Interesting. I really do feel like this person does not have to pull up humbly like they already have. I love that. Clarifying the King of Wands and the Sun, the joyful energy. This person cares, acts of service. Yeah, I think you've been waiting for a while. That Three of Wands, you've been waiting for the ships to arrive in the new land or maybe for the okay i promise you i'm literally seeing traveling semen i don't i don't care if you guys feel a way about that we're adults and and it's a traveling being so it's like perhaps you've been waiting to conceive or perhaps you've been waiting to agree to have a baby or something like that like You've been waiting for the joy to come in. You've been waiting for the person that actually cares, not the person that just wants to <gasps> compete with you. Maybe you maybe Yeah, the song said, you know, you love it when I make you mad. Like, yeah, like, you've been waiting to not be in that stupid energy. Like, people that just want to argue, but, like, be in love with you. Like, kiss you on the cheek, but be like, I'm not taking you there. Like, it's something silly. Like, I actually... <laughs> okay, so you've been waiting for that to be over. I want to look at this uh, slow down car empress. Yeah. Now we have the Empress and the Emperor out. So I will say this, the feminine wants to move slowly and the, the masculine, I don't really want to say that. Whoever's gonna play that role wants to move slowly. Like whoever's the receiver wants to move slowly. But the other person, the masculine is gonna be like, get in the car. Get in the car and don't say nothing. Wow, hold on. Get in the car and let's discuss something. Either we love it or see you tomorrow. Yeah, like he's not on that type time and he's not waiting for you. Like either you love me or is that's it. That's how he moves because I can I can care. He said sit in the car. Let's discuss something. Either we love her or see her more. So I do feel like perhaps, let me see that. Let me see that. Let me see that. How does Emperor move? How are you moving? Is it? I hope not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is though. He's like, listen, you coming? You coming with me? Or not? And the Empress is like, well, you know, I want to take some time. I want to think it out. Pull her from the top of the deck. But he's like, Either we're loving, this is a phallic car, <laughs> or I'll see you tomorrow. This is not a waiting energy. This is a let's get to it energy. And it's also that too, like whoever is receiving the offer, right? The offer is getting the car. Whoever is receiving it 
is the one that wants to move slowly. But the person who's offering it is like, girl, you better take this. You better take this. The Queen of Wands is out, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Empress, as far as players. For the males, the King of Wands is out. So we have the King and Queen of Wands. Again, soulmate energy. So the Emperor is out, the King of Wands, and the King of Swords. And it's because the Empress and the Emperor are out, they rule over everything, but the characteristics, the positive characteristics that the receiver has, whoever is getting the offer, is that they're like, they're a magician. <laughs> the feminine is a magician. That's why whatever you give her multiplies. She's protected by, look, Isis. The ancestors are like, all the time to this energy and she understands how to rule over the material world while she gets whispers from the world of creativity now for the masculine he cares he's a nurturer which that is obviously a masculine characteristic i don't, I don't want to hear the noise so he cares. He cares. That's a huge characteristic. And he knows how to use that brain. Not only does he care, the right side of your brain. Okay, we'll get there. But he also reasons with the left side of his brain. And he's pulling up like, luckily, whenever you're in love, you never use the right side of your brain. Okay, he understands how to not only use the right side of the brain, how to not only care, but to, oh, I like that one, but to also think reasonably as well. Love yours. The song is back. It's a totally different uh, non copyright playlist. He, yeah, he wants to love his. If you his, he's gonna love you. Let's do last card out. This one wants to come out, you see it? And then you on your high horse and carriage is for hire. Bye.